Hello, it's Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I thought I'd tell you what place where I almost died, or could have died really easy. Uh, I came into to, at the Pami Togo, I don't know, two or three years ago, and I was walking along here at night, and uh, I was walking along this road in the dark, and my what happened was I was coming from the other direction. So I'll turn it around. I was standing on this ledge and I accidentally put my left foot there. I tripped, fell off the side, and le went down this hill. I landed all the way at the bottom. And as you can see, there's a ledge down there, a bump over there, a bump over there, and thank the good gods, I didn't hit my head on anything. What was really nice was, uh, Instantly, about uh, three or four or five, I mean, it was really pitch dark, and I, you know, my eyes were not adjusted, and uh, instantly, four people come running to help me out of the hole. Um, I cut a big hole in my pants, I put a scrape on my shell, but I, I really didn't hurt anything. But uh, walking on the road is probably the most dangerous thing you can do in any country. Tr contrary to what you think, probably you'd be standing along the road. I know two or three people that died because a car pulled over suddenly right where they were at and hit them. Uh, but walking along the road, I have uh, two flashlights on me all the time. I have a cell phone that's got a, uh, a little flashlight in it and then I got a little key that has a little flashlight in it. Okay. And believe me, I use them. And you need these things all the time when you're in these foreign countries. And it don't matter how rich you are, what you are, you're going to be walking down the street in any country. And, uh, hey, one of our crazies. Uh, he puts down a branch. Uh, you got to be able to see where you're walking. And then, uh, of course, you know half a dozen one walking or taking a motorcycle taxi here at night both of them are dangerous basically the best thing to do is probably stay home but generally you live life or, or you stop living life okay one place where I probably didn't tell my parents but uh, a very dangerous thing happened uh, see this whole ridge around here if you see it it's about a 10 foot drop there's no rail there's no nothing and I fell down right here at this hole because I tripped on that edge and fell. And I could have hit my head on any of those things. Andy, Hobo Traveler, and Atapami Lomi, uh, 2013. Andy Grab.